you had a good week, Roxy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what have you enjoyed most about the week? I've enjoyed dancing. <laughs> I've enjoyed dancing and arts and crafts, making pom poms, making castles, everything. If you were to hand in an evaluation, room for improvement, what would you say they could improve on as Northfield Arts Forum? What do you How could they improve their services to the community? I think they could. They could maybe be doing it like in the gardens instead of going into the church. Is it going so? indoors. Oh. I think they should do it in the gardens and then go to the park. Oh, okay. So you think it should be kept more outside? Yeah. So what about in the cold winter months? What would you suggest for those months? I think they could do it in the church. I think it's a bit better for them. Okay. So whilst it's warm, stay outside? Yeah. Okay. Well, how would they serve the community meal and stuff outside? Um, use a barbecue. Blue, you might say. Yeah. Shoo, well done, well done. Or two. two. You see, you are good at rhyming, you are good at rhyming. So what I thought I might do, rhymes you blue, uh, is one or two little poems. Do you like poems? Yeah. Brilliant, right, okay. So. What did you enjoy at Northfield's Arts Forum? Um, the garden. Um, I was about to say thank you God for delicious medicine. Um, <laughs> I enjoyed playing with my friends and playing football. Um, with, uh, with my friends at the gardens. I like the um, um, it, 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 you can do lots of classes and, and, and find things and there's loads of garden and plants there. I saw there's some flowers. I saw loads of flowers, but I don't know what they were called. Was I did see some cords. Welcome to our video. Welcome to our video title. A subject that is often, often mentioned in, not just in the home ed community, but when you speak in, in generally in society about home education, homeschooling. One of the main things that rolls off everyone's tongue is that old chestnut. But how do they socialise? Mm -hmm. How yeah. do they socialise? What does socialising even mean? What does it even mean? I'm making a pie. Niall? Yeah. What do you think socialising means? Um. um. Don't be loud when someone's on the phone. <laughs> Socialise means fur, fur, fur one big socially with other people to make someone behave in a way that is effective social divide right social relation now. Um, now that you've read the definition of socialising. I can't remember what it said. You can't remember? No. What will you do to socialise? Look after animals. I think socialising means when somebody owns something or looks after something or 
works for something. Which I'll do for you in a little while. Swazzy shorts, the occasional one. There's also this one, the day the earth grew hair. Right? Arr! My wooden leg is made to measure. I land upon uncharted shores to look for buried treasure. I'm a happy pirate. Arr! Long John Silver is my mate. There's a parrot on his shoulder that keeps saying, pieces of eight. Right, so that's what we call audience participation. Nice and gently. Ready? One, two, three, four. Save the day. It means to make somebody behave in a way that's agreeable to so, 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 no, society. 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 <laughs> what society? Um, an area. Okay. Do you feel like you socialise? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because we do little cooking and we help our environment. So that's what you think socialising is? Yeah. As well as just making somebody behave in a different way. Um, caring to stay with somebody and helping somebody and, and if they making people and helping people. Northfield Arts Forum provides facilities, connects arts of all kinds. We aim to recognise and inspire creativity where we live and we work with the communities of Northfield, Kings Norton, Wheelie and Longbridge. I've said for some time when explaining what we do at NAF, that great art is made on the edge of chaos. I've never really known what I meant with that, but I'm starting to feel a little like I do. Let's paint, dance, sing, make, do and draw together. Let's make the, the art that refuses to stay quiet. Let's cultivate culture that welcomes everyone in. Let's do this together. It's got to be you. Oliver Armstrong, Northfield Arts Forum Coordinator. Do we make our children behave in a way that is accepted in society? Do we? Yeah, I think we do. We try and uh, prepare them for what's to come. That's the best you can do when you're a parent is to make sure your kids are ready for the challenge of the world. That's what we're doing as parents. We're, yeah, we're, we're trying to make them the best version of themselves that they can be in this world. Now, obviously, purists will say, well, you don't need to conform them to society. But I think there is some type of obligation I think it was Jordan Peterson that said that, um, you know, your kids have to be able to socialise and behave in a way that's acceptable for them to then be included in society and to be part of society because we have chosen to take part in this world. We have to make certain compromises in order to survive, in order to um, have things, in order to you know, for things to go well for you, you, you do, there are certain, you know, uh, compromises to be made in terms of your behaviour to fit into society. Because it's not just you, it's, you're part of a collective, isn't it? Absolutely. The way that we socialise is obviously down to the way that we socialised as a family to begin with. And that's where your primary socialisation actually takes place. So, 
are we socialising the children? Are we socialised? i definitely say yes. And I think it happens a lot more naturally than people think. It's not something that is separate to education. It's not something something that is separate to parenting. We all socialise and we all socialise our children quite naturally. So should we be worried about socialising? No, we shouldn't. Yeah, I think that it's, it's good. We're, we're continuing to refine what we do and improve it. And um, by no means is this the definitive answer, but this is where we're at right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so a massive thank you to all at Northfield's Arts Forum. Thank you to those at the Glue Garden. Thank you to the Sutton Coldfield Home Ed Groups as that's been our outings over the last couple of weeks um, when we've really enjoyed connecting with you all. And long may it continue. I'd like to give a big thanks to Ryan, Beth, Michelle and everybody who works in Northfield Art Forum. Thank you, Nath. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I know the um, I love you, Beth.